Hi, Kylie. As you have to all of a sudden my phone started ringing. Hi, Kylie. Hi, future. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 I wonder if there'll even be handwriting in the future. This will all just be like digitized, maybe then. Oh, wait, there's like, not one digital whiteboard. Photo, um, do you know how you have like a photographic memory, but like they take glasses, where you can have a photographic glasses, so then you can like remember what you look like. Like that's what they're doing. Yeah, 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 <laughs> They're talking about YouTube here. Remember when that was a thing? Sorry, we were old fashioned. How was? All right, we gotta get rolling with this. We gotta get rolling. Ender, were you gonna say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. You never chime in. I want to hear what you're gonna say. I spoke. Right, right. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> Beautiful. How is a vector different from a scalar? Do you guys ever see Despicable Me? Oh, yes. It's the guy in the flying jumpsuit that was in flying smoke. And how does he describe himself? I don't remember. It's something really dumb that I will never come up with. That is incorrect. No, I'm pretty sure. You see, the rest of the girls are funny because we can say into girls, but we can't say. Yes. Yeah, don't give her credit. You said that? I have copyright. Good work. Copyright, Jaden. Vectors have a direction. Oh my gosh, we got less than a half hour left in class. No, we'll be okay. It's okay, we don't have much to do today. Trust me, we got better than the ancient Greek gods. Bad, I'm dreading your cow class on Monday. I heard. We've heard. I'm just saying we heard. You have fun. It's a quiet class. Yes. Yeah, uh, he was flipping the VC. I wish. Do it. Do it. I can't. Not really with my schedule. Why? Who do you have to have class? It'd be what? It's a 20 day. This is a 5th hour. Then it's quick class at 10. No. No. We haven't seen this. This was the whole. This was my mom. I'm cleaning up. I'm doing class at 10 next semester. Okay, let's take a look at some of these. So vectors, these are some examples of these. Displacement depends on direction. Velocity depends on direction. Force does as well, as you remember from last year. Some of these other things do not depend on those. Uh, again, the, dis the difference between things like displacement and distance, it kind of goes like this. Maybe you start right here, and you decide to travel a ways. You come not quite all the way back, and then you go over here. And then you end up maybe right there. So this distance right here would be your displacement. Your overall distance would be the entire path that you traveled. So direction plays into displacement. It does not play into distance. Uh, same thing with speed and velocity. Velocity, you, it matters what direction you're going. Speed, it does not. Okay, continuing on from there. I know what you guys missed from regular physics last year. Something that we... Is it the grass? Test. No. What? Did, Did I have this? this? You guys missed doing stuff in three dimensions. Everything was just two-dimensional last year. Did How boring. three dimensions? No, I don't think we did. <laughs> I remember we only got like a couple. We just like did it for fun on a couple, but... Calm down, girl. There's a couple things that we have to know oh, about no, we did this. the three-dimensional world. So what axis is this? I did this. That's your Y. There's your X. Z. And Z. Very good. Now, um, there's something that we use in physics called component notation. And basically what that means is you change the X to I. The y-axis turns into the letter J. You don't have to make them cursive. And the z-axis changes to K. <laughs> Z 
these are our notes? Yeah, these are our notes. This is known as component notation. I'll show you some examples of this in a little bit. That's a good one to remember. That's a really good one. That is always a good one. That's a good song. So if we've got a setup here, and let's say that we represent velocities from these things, you know, if you're traveling to the right, that would be the horizontal version of your velocity, or Vx. Going up and down would be Vy. This right here would just be your overall resultant velocity. If you're traveling you know, diagonally like this, you're traveling both to the right, you're traveling upwards. Yes. Does the I interfere with the maternity numbers in much yes. algebra? No. <laughs> it, is, it is the same letter, though. Oh, yeah? I, I gave you this unit in physics. I could not figure it out. Like, it not, my brain cannot work with it. Now, in order to solve stuff like this, maybe we've got an angle here. Yes. Don't forget about your old friend. And also the geometry and geometry helps a lot with the angles about where angles are the same and stuff. But yeah, I don't remember much about oh, yeah. it. Oh, remember I just remember that I hated this because so, it just yeah, did not work. Totally. And I remember a lot of boxes that just so, yeah, died. Yeah. I don't think I need to write this down, right? The oh, sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Uh, that's what Sokotoa means. you got to be well-versed with that so that you can solve things with triangles. Okay. So let's say... Solve for the velocity in the y direction, please. nicer to like have a good time after homework is done than right. trying to have a good time before it's done. Uh -huh. so that's always in the back of your mind. So I did it like Saturday or Sunday morning like when I got up. Mm -hmm. got out the way. That's the way to do it. Absolutely. So Mr. Hathaway, I can still have a good time even when I don't, when I have my homework not done because I forget about it all the time. <laughs> See, now I like have a panic attack. I can't sleep. Well, I don't think it matters. <laughs> What's it? I don't think it's that serious. I'll like, forget and then I won't even notice and then I'll be like, all right, I'm going to come around and collect the homework. And I'll be like, oh. if I forget about it, that's not serious. I don't really forget homework in this class, but I'm like, all right, fine. If I know I have it, then it's good to know I have it. I'll get home from football, do homework, and go to sleep. Sorry, I'm going to have home to Bobham. No. <laughs> Sir, you took me out of my love. Thank you, Jim. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, degree mode, please. Oh, that's what all degrees are. Uh, I'll be happy. I don't even have an example. What's the answer? What do you think the answer is? Uh, what do you see? I got 441. No way you got 4. 0.817. 0.817? Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to go back. I'm supposed to find it. Oh, wait, is it the sign of opposite equals hypotenuse or something? Yeah, I got this. By the end of the year, you're going to know like exactly where it lines yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly the same way every day. Some of the vertical, uh, 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 and we start yeah. uh, Is it sign? Yeah. You don't have to be a sign. You can. Yeah. Okay. Can <laughs> of all. Oh. Okay. I literally no, think I'm too. This entertains me way too much. No, wait. Where is he? Well, well, I don't have a lot of Just pop up there. Is he going to come from there? In the middle. Is it close? There we go. Why did that honestly scare me? How old is it? How did you come up from that way? I thought the staircase would start on the other side. That's why you do it. No, I flipped it over the summer. It's so if we're given five here and we have the angle, we're looking for this side. So we would do sine of the angle equals opposite, which we don't know, divided by hypotenuse. So that means you multiply both sides by five. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You don't want to find that okay. They're asking for it. Hold on, I'm just going to decide. That's right. You know, I think there's still an extra thing, but I got there. Oh, so, one way to do it is like this tangent of 35. Who's picking? I said, oh, pickle. I heard my name was Adam. Because you're in a pickle. I don't know. And what you guys end up with? 3.5. 3.5, very good. I was using Oh, yeah, I, thought, no, I, didn't I didn't think of the box, so I had a triangle and a triangle, but I got it. Or, yep, that works too. Don't we have to stay in radian mode? Yeah. That's why I just use the degree <laughs> symbol, because it's easier than plopping. I think that'd be good. Yeah. 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 We know two different velocities now. We know the velocity in the y direction is 3.5. In the x direction, it's 5. So if a question would ask you to put this information in component notation, it would look like this. That's how you would describe it. You like this better than calculus? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Is this five? No. Five class is quite new. Okay. Is that I or is that I? Is that I? Easier than the calculus we did. I'm though. JK. Way easier. Okay. That's good. No, I, I'm, I'm way higher. did way better on that test than your test. I I like scared my You know, I've never studied for math, and I studied for your test. Like, I never studied for math, and I always get like 98, 99. I studied for years and got 60. No. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you see, I was aiming for a big problem. I thought I was going to be good. 
So this is what component notation looks like. Uh, if you do have these two, and then you want to solve for the resultant, of course, you just use the Pythagorean theorem, or you could use more Sokotoa things and end up getting the hypotenuse. If you do that, you should end up with 6.1 meters per second for the resultant velocity. I don't think I need to go through that, but if you'd like me to, let me know. Just a few other things I want to make sure that uh, you're aware of before we finish. Density, if and when, you need to use that. <laughs> you abbreviate density with the Greek letter rho. How do you it's, it's like a, yeah, it's like you have to draw the letter P, but you're not allowed to pick up your pen or go backwards at all. <laughs> and of course, that's mass per unit volume. So the V is a volume here, it's not velocity. Another thing you should be aware of is how to calculate percent error. Oh, exactly. Did that yeah. in chem. How did you do that in this class? You were trying to figure out like the, the metal, the rank metal or something like that. Yep. Um, I guess on the physics of the same time as well as molecular. I'm in the same What did you say last year? We have a fun science department. We have two. Two. Probably the best. my science class. Probably the best department other than that. The accelerated biology was terrible. Uh, literature is okay. That makes sense. That's a problem. Literature is kind of like evolution. There's some really good research. Yeah, it's uh, an interesting thing. You should take comparative origins sometimes. So this is your percent error. The experimental value that you calculate in the experiment minus the actual one, all divided by the actual one, and that whole thing multiplied by 100% would give you your percent error. Uh, so that's something you need to make sure that you're aware of. Yeah, you pro most people probably do. Basic measurements when you're dealing with length. You got it? Can we please switch to the metric system? Well, I mean, we use metric in physics. I know, but like in America. I kind of doubt it's going to happen. There was a big push for it in the 50s and 60s, and it didn't hold up. So uh, I kind of doubt it'll happen. I love I think things should still be measured in stone. That's what I think. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> like, let's I can bench let's five, do it. I can bench five boulders. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, hey, add a pebble on each side. That would be neat. Add a pebble. I can and do it. <laughs> it's fascinating being in a class of mostly guys. <laughs> it really is. A couple other things to point out here. Don't forget units. 
when you get your final answer. All answers should have units unless you're solving for a coefficient of friction. Show all your work. Don't forget that. There's tons of partial credit to go around in AP Physics. And if you don't show me your work, you're not going to get any of it. And uh, answers should be in decimal form. No fractions, please. In, in addition to all that, just a couple other things to keep in mind. Uh, when you're rounding, I have never found where rounding to three digits would not... There, I've never seen a, a question on an AP test where rounding to three digits would end up hurting you. So I just round things to three non-zero digits. It's, it's nice because if you get a real big number, a real small number, it's easy to put in scientific notation. But if you feel like going further, that's just fine. Yes? I'm Fair enough. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. We're Almost. The other thing I want to mention is that when you are uh, doing your questions and you're going through the homework, uh, I don't want you to do it like I see sometimes in math where there's a big separate line yeah. from your work and then the answer. Have all your work and then have your answer right underneath it circled. Okay? So show your work. And then circle your answer at the very bottom. Don't put them in separate places. And finally, do the worksheet problems on a separate piece of paper. Don't try and don't try and make your uh, penmanship, you know, uh, Bonnie Jensen sized. Uh, she was okay with that because she it was actually legible. But you don't have to make your writing so small. Uh, use a separate piece of paper and solve them on a different piece of paper than what I gave you for the homework. That's all for today. Bye,